on Nissan Nation, it's your buddy Dave here and today on this episode we're going to order some parts from Z1 and you're like, Dave, you don't have a Z and it's like, yeah, but they also sell other things besides Z parts and today we're worried about our juke and as we promised in, in previous episodes, we are going to build this juke up and uh, I don't know, I, I have sort of a plan for it but we're just kind of going with the flow with, you know, the way the world is right now. You just never know what tomorrow brings. So uh, let's jump right into looking at the website and seeing uh, what parts we're going to order. All right. So one thing I do like about the Z1 website is you go and you can put your, your VIN number and everything in. And it once you sign into your, your account, you put your VIN number in. And if you've ever, like for me, buying a, a used juke, if somebody's ever modified that and put their VIN number in with Z1, it'll bring up whatever they've already done to the vehicle, which is really cool. And so when I buy these parts, obviously it'll go into my into that VIN number description and, you know, it'll be there. But besides that, let's get into this. Let's buy some parts. So, I first off, I know exhaust is where I want to is where I want to spend some money. So let's go here to exhaust. Oh wait, it's not it's not on that part yet. I don't it is not, but they Z1 has a lot to choose from with exhaust. Of course, the cool thing about these cars is a lot of it is, um, you know, works with other other vehicles, especially exhaust. So let's go to new products because I know they just got something special in Nismo wise, and I want to be the first to get it. There we go. So this Nismo exhaust for the the Juke just was shipped here like nobody in the world uh, in the united states has this on their on their juke right now so i want to be the first to get that so let's add that one to the cart and it gives you this little thing over here where if you buy so much you qualify for you know some little freebie things which is pretty cool uh so next i know i want to blow off valve for this car because i want to hear the every once in a while right so after talking with spencer over there at uh z1 he recommended this at h KS blow off valve. He's like the others are just kind of you know this is this is the end all be all of blow off valves, and so let's go ahead and add that one to the cart. But when I do that, I'm gonna need there's a plate I need for that, an adapter plate. So we'll go back to blow off valves, and I believe it's at the very bottom. There it is. So so this is a uh, it's milled just specifically for that blow off valve. So we'll hit that and. Uh, So there we go. We'll add that to the cart. It gives you a little warning that this flange will not work on OEM pipe. Modifications to the flange mounting hole is required. Uh, mounting holes must be widened, which is not a big deal. So fun times with that. So now the last thing is air intakes. You can't. You gotta let that car breathe a little bit. And once again, since we went exhaust, I went Nismo. I think I'm going to go Nismo with the, the air intake too. So everything, I like my, my builds to be, I'm not brand really specific, but I, if I'm going to buy a brand, I, I, I don't know. I kind of like all my, you know, factory look. I want it all to look like it belongs. So the Nismo, once again, we're going to add that to the cart. And quickly, we're running up a tab here. So let's go to checkout and let's look at our cart. All right. As you can see, there's the list of parts right there that I'm I'm gonna do, and it's it's basically eleven hundred dollars. And for um, I paid six grand for this car. I'm already putting a big chunk of money into this thing, but that's where it's gonna be worth it. I know it is. Uh, I really want to step this car up, and just for you guys, I want to step this car up. So, uh, fifty six dollars to ship, and I'm curious. I I know I've ordered a little things from Z1 that's gotten here like really quick and I'm not that I'm there in Georgia I'm in middle Tennessee so it's not too far away but I'm curious how fast this will come so let's place this order and um, cross our fingers to when it gets here so there we've ordered some parts and uh, like I just said I'm, I'm excited to see how quickly they come I, I've ordered some stuff from Z1 recently just little knickknacky stuff and uh, I've never spent $1,100 with them and uh, the stuff gets here like rapidly quick so I, ex I expect maybe a day or two, uh, see how quick I get my, uh, my tracking and, uh, we'll see. So, so I heard a knock at the door. Well, really my ring doorbell hit the door and I'm like, what could be at the door already? And it's like, holy crap, how quick is Z1? Like, I kid you not, these guys are that freaking quick. I ordered these parts at noon yesterday, noon yesterday and... 
if you guys need anything with Z1 off road coming on board, like if they ship this quick, that's nuts, guys. That's like, I, I can't even <laughs> explain how crazy this is, man. When opening uh, said boxes in time of crisis, you need one of these, right? And uh, why not, seeing how it's a pandemic going on? But let's let's get to the real business. So you see me order for Z1, and I'm still in utter utter amazement how how quick they got these packages here. It was interesting uh, how quick, you know, I, I, Spencer and those guys have talked about how, you know, they have a couple uh, FedEx trucks leave a day. And so these guys are just, we went through their, we went through their center and I got to see how they did it and I can believe it. And I'm still in shock that a day later, uh, not even 24 hours and I had parts at my step. So let's get into this one. So what is this one? I don't know. It's labeled Z1. So let's see what's in this, what's in this bad boy here. Um... Always, it's always like Christmas, especially car parts. Car parts are just so much fun to open. Ooh. Ooh. We got our HKS Super SQV blow off valve. That's going to be real fun. And there's something else in this box. that that's a Z and oh these are really cool got some action pictures I think you guys know this one's going up in the background somewhere of the studio that is really freaking cool uh oh once again that is super cool and uh hot ladies and hot cars I mean how can you how can you go wrong with that right oh, oh it's Z city here guys once again, thanks for the posters, guys. That's awesome. Especially this. Now, I've got an adapter plate. I don't see uh, there's a fourth box supposed to come, but it, he, they said they were drop shipping it from the manufacturer itself, so we'll see on that. But still, let's, we got more boxes to get into. Oh, I bet I know what this one is. I bet I know what this one is. So, like I said in the video, I was told by Spencer and those guys the other day that if I wanted a really cool exhaust, Nismo had something they would bring into the States and that I would want I would want this particular exhaust. So, got this on the box and oh boy, this, I don't know where to start how pretty and cool this is. Oh, Nismo! Oh. All right, boys. This is a Nismo exhaust, not not a cheap wannabe knockoff. This is actual Nismo. I don't know if you can see that or not. This and this one's not been to the United States yet. This is uh, brand new. Look at that. Look at that pretty Nismo on it. I can't wait to get this thing on the car and hear how it sounds, man. Cause this is look at that tip. The tip is awesome. Spencer, you were right, sir. Now, once again, this is only an axle back, so there is supposedly some some benefits to it. Uh, once we get all this installed and we'll get it hooked up down at Z1, I'm going to put it on a dyno. We'll really figure it out. But I'm excited. I don't know if you can tell. Once again, that's real Nismo. This is not generic wannabe ripoff, you know, where somebody stamps Nismo on it and Nissan never goes after them. This is beautiful Nismo product. So sweet let's get on this bigger box because i think it's just as cool all right genuine nissan parts right here again podcast hopes we, we try not to cut ourselves here but i make i make no uh claims that i'm a professional unboxer by any means that's kind of funny oh, that was yeah that's what i'm talking about this is what I am talking about. Nismo cold air intake. I could have went with something. This one was a little more expensive than a lot of the intakes were. I could have went with something a little cheaper. But if you project project juke here needed needed all Nismo. So 
Sweet. I like they got for the mass airflow sensors already ready to go. You just screw it in. Since it's genuine Nissan, it should should bolt right in. We'll find out. I like all my stuff to, to be factory. I like factory looks. I don't I mean if I could have got this in a cool light or something, it would have been awesome. Oh we got the the air filter here. No need to open that up right now. But it is stamped. I don't know if you can see that or not. Stamped Nismo on the side. We've got lots of Nismo to get on this car. And uh, I'm pumped about it. Once again, we're going to take this stuff to... This is Once I install this, the car is going to go sometime hopefully in June. We're going to take the car to uh, Z1. And we're going to tune the car. And uh, right now, Nissan claims 188 horsepower. I forget the torque of it, but it's really nice. Um, I was looking at the RS, the Nismo RS that you could get these in. I think it was at two, 215, just guessing. I can't remember off the top of my head. Horsepower. And I think with just a few little add-ons that I can get this thing up there pretty easily. So, guys, let us know what you think in the comments. Uh, are these parts cool or what? I'm especially, once again, I'm especially excited about this exhaust. It's the only one in the country right now. So... That's the kind of stuff we've been trying to bring to you guys. Just exclusive parts. Uh, Nismo's had some exhausts out, but this is a brand brand new. It's all titanium on the inside. It's supposed to be super light. I mean, it, <laughs> it's super light. But uh, I'm excited to hear the, the sound of it. And uh, let us know what you think in the comments below. Hey, Juke guys, I'm looking for you guys. Comment. Let us know that you're here, man. I love the Nissan Juke. I think it's a fun vehicle. I know sometimes we're truck we're truck-centric, but we're getting into cars and we're going to have a blast. So from all things Nissan and my driveway to yours, this is your Nissan Nation podcast and I'm your host, David Boyd. And we're going to wee 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 w